Live on the WHAS 1119, take a look. The lights are now off. The inspection of the Clark Memorial Bridge just wrapped up moments ago for the night by Kentucky State Highway Engineers. Now, they've been looking over the damaged bridge for hours. That semi was right above that red light for several hours today. The wreck semi truck spending seven hours hanging right off the side of the bridge. It's now gone and we're bringing you the new late night developments over the Ohio River. Hello everybody, I'm Doug Profit. Now here's where we stand since we went off the air at six o'clock. Take a look at what happened on the bridge since the crash first happened at noon today. The process to pull the truck back onto the bridge took several hours this evening. Check out our exclusive time lapse as they pull the truck away from the river right Right back to the concrete on the bridge. A crew from Suburban Towing attaching the cranes to the truck, slowly lifting it back up starting at 5 o'clock tonight. A Kentucky Transportation spokesperson says the truck was removed from the bridge at 7.53, nearly eight hours after the crash first happened. Now to the dramatic new photos. This picture from the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet tonight gives us the up close view of the damage on the bridge from the actual truck. You can see where the railing was broken away during the collision. The sidewalk of the old bridge is now crushed and it has sunken in there. Inspectors have already started their work to assess the damage working into the night. So let's get a view now on what's happening up there and where we stand. WHS 1119 teams Taylor Woods and photojournalist Aston Hester are live on the Louisville waterfront to show us where the work stands at this moment and what's next. Taylor? Well, Doug, as you can see, the lights are pitch black tonight on the 2nd Street Bridge. And just a few minutes ago, crews with KYTC just wrapped up their first day of inspection. They were really inspecting how safe that bridge is now and what changes need to be made moving forward. But at this time, there is no clear estimate on how long it will take them to fully inspect and when the bridge will reopen. This semi owned by Cisco Foods crossing the 95 year old Clark Memorial Bridge is left hanging off the edge after police say it was involved in a four vehicle crash getting off the side but holding tight. We asked KYTC State Highway Engineer James Bollinger if semi should be allowed to travel across the four lane bridge. At this time we would expect that it would still be uh, able to carry uh, commercial truck traffic into downtown Louisville. It is an important connection. Uh, but certainly we will evaluate that. It uh, was last inspected in September of 2023, fair condition. Bollinger says the bridge will be closed for quite some time for an inspection. Louisville Fire and First Responder crews were on scene in just three minutes. In 40 minutes, firefighter Bryce Carden started rescuing the driver from the dangling truck. You see crashes on the Second Street Bridge from time to time, but nothing like what you see behind. The recovery effort caught the attention of sightseers like Noah Stinson. He and others were on Louisville. 4th Street Wharf. I feel like they need to do something about like widening the bridge or make it like one lane each way. Mayor Craig Greenberg says two other people involved in the crash were taken to U of L Hospital with life threatening injuries. Please keep them and their families in your prayers this afternoon and evening. Louisville Fire Chief Brian O'Neill shared how his team have been prepared through training and how they were concerned about the recovery effort. Uh, what if it slips? What if it falls? If it doesn't hold still? We uh, then would have to transfer to a dive rescue. So we had our rescue divers on hand, ready to go. While it's not clear at this time which direction the semi was traveling, safety remains top priority. Bollinger says his team won't know what will need to be done until after the inspection. Once we uh, see the results of the uh, accident uh, investigation, though, we will take a look at that as a, an exam and see if any changes need to be made. And KYTC crews will be back again during the day tomorrow, completing another day of inspection. The bridge will remain closed until they fully assess the damage done on the bridge and will it is deemed safe for traffic to flow again. And tonight, LMPD tells us the driver of that semi is OK. She suffers from minor injuries. Reporting live in Louisville, Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119 on your side.